It's your turn. You ready? You got a two. Move the bird two spaces. Move Zoe. Okay. Ready? One, two. My turn. Three. I got three, so I'm Cookie Monster. One, two, three. Your turn. I take that one. Got a four. Can you move it four spaces? Good job. One, two, three, four. Good job. My turn. I got a three. Ready? One, two, three. Dang it! You saw the dirty gun. your brother playing? Is he playing chess? One, two, three. Good job. Hello everyone. I got a new shirt. I thought I would show you. I really like it. It's a Down Syndrome Mom shirt. Hello everyone. Welcome to the vlog. I am Crystal Keys and this is Downright Blessed. Be sure to hit like and share. So yesterday, uh, I didn't film it or anything, but we did our practice going to the dentist. I told you all last week that we will be practicing once a week. So I wanted to commit to that. So this is, this is what we did. We did it yesterday. We wear the gloves, okay? Because our dental hygienist she wears really bright colored gloves. The goal is to practice once a week until she has her next appointment, which is in about five and a half months. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you give me those. She's trying to steal my reading glasses. Oh, girl. Ooh. So we use, we use gloves, and tools. What do we do with this? I thought, will you open in your mouth for this? Good job, Zoe! Yay! We just want to get her acclimated to opening her mouth and let, letting the dental hygienist try again. Try again. No. And we also use an electric toothbrush. So, oh, you want mommy to try? Zoe's turn. Yay! So even if she just touches it, um, again, just getting acclimated. And then we have the other tools that we do not use. We just, you know, maybe she might just want to see it and touch it. You want to touch? Uh, no? Uh, okay. You don't have to. No pressure. But she's looking at them right now. And I'll, I'll link the... Amazon links in the description. Think 10 bucks, that's worth it. Just so she can see them, get used to them being around. And then the brightly colored gloves, because of COVID they were out of regular gloves. So these are dishwashing gloves. It doesn't matter, they're still bright colors. Can you say hi? Hi. Uh, iPad? No, we don't need the iPad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we know. Oh, are you frustrated? I was going to show everybody a couple of signs today. All right, let's go over a couple of signs. Okay. Oh, are we still there? We're still there. We're still there. Okay. Hi, everybody. Let's scoot back here a little bit. Okay. This is the sign for frust. Oh, hold on. Hey, 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 are you frustrated? Take your dominant hand for Zoe. She's left-handed, so she might be frustrated. Are you frustrated? Oh, you are? Okay. Another sign is music. Music. Scoot back a little bit here. Music. Yeah, baby girl. Yeah. 
You like my shirt? Blue. B -b Blue. You like that? Good girl. I love you. Love you. So our school district uh, a couple days ago decided that back to school will start off 100% online virtual and um, I could really stress and worry about what PT is going to look like, what OT is going to look like, what speech is going to look like. I could stress about regression and um, socialization, but I, I'm not there yet. I can't. I, I, my brain can't even go there yet. Um, I'm trying to do one day at a time and uh, just stay healthy. So, but it's, it's on my mind. It is stressful, and I know it is for y'all too, whether you have children with disabilities or not. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next couple months. And I will, I will be there with you. You guys can go on the journey with us and see what that looks like for sure. Um, I saw I'm in a Down Syndrome group, a couple of Down Syndrome groups on Facebook and a lady posted uh, uh, something this morning and it was about a parking garage. And I know I've mentioned parking garages to you before. We were in a parking garage on our way to the ophthalmologist and she so pointedly and descriptively painted the picture of what parking, uh, not parking lots, I'm sorry, parking garages, what parking garages mean to a, a mother, a parent, a caregiver of a child with special needs that has had a lot of history in the hospital. Uh, it's very emotional to be in a parking garage. Uh, it could it could be that you're on your way to a surgery. It could be that you're leaving the hospital empty-handed because your baby's still there. It could be uh, worry about a diagnosis. It could be a lot of things. So yeah, I just love that um, this mom told this story in such a descriptive way on what parking garages mean. And if you're a mom of a kid with special needs, you, you already know that. Um, we will be having some upcoming appointments at the doctor, Zoe will. So I'll keep you all updated. You can come with us and go on this journey with us. Love you guys. B, G, C. So you want more music? So do you want more music? She, yeah, she signed music, so I'll try. I was the director of that film. This is Zoe, one of the actors who act with Baby Godzilla. Say hi, Zoe. Um, this is Austin. He's our cameraman, and that is Cora, our prop sets. I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and click that bell icon. Bye. Okay. These are all the things. These are all the things. 
that Zoe is giving the DOG. Um, Daddy needs to put a lock on this drawer. Thank you. Give them to me. Don't give them to the dog. 